the red light come on? Yeah. Okay. And the first test on top of the gas cooker on the hot plate. Everything's working, everything's going round and round. And now for the ultimate test, if I can do this one handed. I've got to go and look for my matches. Difficult to light a match one handed, but there you go. <coughs> right, so I'll position the pan on it, although it's still cold, of course. The top of this is a bit bubbly, so the heat transmission might not be great, but we'll see how we go. No, I don't want to play with your bone, you silly dog. You're supposed to be helping me and supervising, aren't you? You just want to hog the fire as usual. Not quite environmentally friendly, but this stuff is dry, well, steam coal, and it's approved for smokeless zones. And it's not our only form of heating, we've got gas central heating as well, so it's not too bad. Is it, Floyd? Nah. Oh, you have to be in on this act, don't you? Yeah. And there she goes, five minutes later, circulating the warm air from the fire. It will, of course, go much faster than that. But the fire's only up five minutes, just heat the top there. But, point approves, so that's okay. The little fan's going very well. You can even, at this speed, you can feel the heat being thrown out. And it's quiet, so can't ask for much more. And there it is, after a quarter of an hour, with the stove closed in a little bit, otherwise it gets too hot in here. It is May, or supposed to be. But yeah, <coughs> the fan's just nice, not too obtrusive, very quiet.
that's a successful purchase I think but you can certainly feel the warmth being spread around the room from it Even the horse is getting warm. So I hope you enjoyed my little video for practical use for a Stirling engine.